Good morning, everyone. My name is Amy Ridings. I'm the Director of Communications at Genesis Women's Shelter and Support. And for those of you who don't know, Genesis has been around for nearly 35 years, providing safety, shelter, and support for women and kiddos who've experienced domestic violence. So at Genesis, we love Giving Day and Communities Foundation of Texas. We love the increase in incentive and awareness for members of the community to get up and give, creating more vibrant neighborhoods for all of us. We also love the growth that happens every year. So with the donor base, the amount of money raised, the number of nonprofits that participate. But we also know that as more nonprofits do participate in this, the harder it is to stand out from the crowd. So last year, our goal was to create an integrated marketing campaign that would cut through the clutter and raise record-breaking awareness and funds for Genesis. And that's how our Be Her First Step campaign was born. So for our campaign to be as comprehensive as possible, we combined aspects of earned, paid, and owned media. By combining different elements like eBlast, social media, direct mail, and Google ads, we are able to effectively reach our audience across various platforms. But the shining star of our campaign was a two-minute video encouraging our donors to be her first step towards safety, dignity, and hope. So I'll play that video for you really quickly. September 20th marks the 10th annual North Texas Giving Day, the largest community-wide giving event in the nation. Nearly $200 million have been raised through Giving Day, strengthening nonprofits to build safer, more vibrant neighborhoods in the North Texas community. Genesis Women's Shelter and Support relies on Giving Day to raise critical funds for women and children who have experienced domestic violence. Genesis was created to give women in abusive situations a way out, and for more than 30 years has been her first step in finding safety, shelter, and support. Today, we ask you to join us in our mission by contributing on Giving Day. To be her first step away from domestic violence, you can either pre-schedule your gift September 10th through 19th, or wait until September 20th to donate. Every contribution makes a huge difference in providing everything she will need on her journey to an abuse-free life. A donation of just $30 affords her a warm meal and a safe night of sleep at our emergency shelter. A $50 contribution provides a welcome kit, complete with everything she may need to start rebuilding her dignity. And $100 covers the cost of a counseling session with a master's level therapist, so she can take her first steps towards healing. This year, thanks to the generosity of our partner, RSMUS LLP, your support will go even further. To challenge and inspire others to give, RSM is our Giving Day Matching Funds donor. So don't wait. Click this link to be her first step away from domestic violence today. So in the video, we highlighted the impact a $30, $50, or $100 gift would make and how it would directly impact our clients. So these intervals were very intentional. We looked at our 2017 donor spreadsheet and noticed the most common donation was a gift of $25. So for 2018... We raised the minimum suggested donation to $30, and the results reinforced this with a huge amount of our donors increasing their minimum donation to $30. We also broke the video down into a series of gifts that were easy to share on social media and in eBlast. So in previous years, we sent out three to four emails on Giving Day, literally asking our donors to give us money morning, afternoon, and night. So this past year, we took it down a notch and sent fewer, more intentional e-blasts. We sent the first one on September 10th to our core of extremely devoted supporters, allowing them a sneak peek into our campaign and showing them the Giving Day video before we published it publicly. We included calls to action of pre-scheduling a gift, setting up a fundraising page, and sharing with their networks. We also sent this same email to our staff, and they were incentivized with a free day of PTO to the employee who received the most donations on their fundraising page. On Giving Day, we only sent out one email because we didn't want to overburden our audience or have them unsubscribe from our list. We also created a postcard, as you can see on the screen, which we mailed to our most involved supporters um, in the North Texas region, as well as those who have supported us on Giving Day in the past. Um, and we included a QR code and a bit.ly link so we could track how much traffic came in specifically from the postcard. 
And leading up to Giving Day, during the pre-scheduled giving period, we also implemented Google Ads. So as people were on Google typing in North Texas Giving Day, um, the Genesis Giving Day page popped up and effectively brought in more than 700 people to our Giving Day page from Google Ads. So throughout the entire campaign, everything that we did, we leveraged on social media. Um, we shared the hashtag BeHerFirstStep as well as NTX Giving Day. So from the video to our images and gifts, as well as a blog about reasons to give. Um, we also created gifts with milestone donations so we could share our progress on Giving Day in real time with our supporters. We implemented paid social media posts on, our, on Facebook so we could make sure that our video was spread far and wide so we could reach new and untapped audiences. So when all of these separate elements come together, as Aristotle once said, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. The Be Her First Step campaign led us to our most successful giving day to date. Um, we increased our total number of donors by 20%, and the total amount of money raised skyrocketed upwards of 170%. The 10 fundraising pages set up just by our staff members alone raised nearly $10,000. So that showcased that invested employees can make a surprisingly significant impact on your bottom line. Additionally, Genesis was number 14 on the leaderboard in the top 1% of nonprofits that raised the most money. So at Genesis, we are very fortunate to have a full-time in-house graphic designer, um, but I realize that that isn't the case for most nonprofits, but that doesn't mean that you can't successfully execute an integrated marketing campaign. So if you want to create a video, but if you're don't have the resources or the staff, you can always hire a freelancer on a project basis, or if that's not in the budget, consider skipping the video and opting for supporting graphics instead. So Canva is a free and very simple tool where you can create graphics that mesh with your existing brand. Um, the best part, other than the fact that it's free, is it's very simple to use and you don't need to have graphic design experience to use the tool. Um, as we saw with our fundraising pages, staff involvement can also be an amazing source for raising awareness and funds. So you can encourage some friendly competition amongst staff. Um, consider throwing in an extra incentives like PTO day or gift cards to encourage competition and amongst each other. So look at the analytics that you already have available at your fingertips. So who were your donors last year? If a specific zip code supports your cause more than others, consider targeted direct mail. If you notice that your most frequent donation level is $25, as, as ours was, maybe you want to raise the minimum to $25 or $30. Bitly links and QR code generator, generators are both free tools that you can incorporate to track your success for future campaigns. You may notice that your social media Bitly links receive hundreds of clicks while your emails only generate one or two or vice versa. But by tracking and analyzing these results, you can shape your future campaigns and figure out how your supporters are finding out about you. And finally, apply for the Google Ad Grant. If your nonprofit holds a valid charity status, you're most likely eligible for $10,000 of in-kind advertising every month from Google. While this is helpful for Giving Day, it's also beneficial year-round for recruiting donors, volunteers. So I hope that from this, your takeaway is that your nonprofit can pull off a successful integrated marketing campaign, even if you have limited resources, which I think is the definition of nonprofit. So by combining earned, paid, and owned media, you can reach both existing and new audiences to support your cause and elevate your brand to new heights. Um, if anyone has any questions for me, I did put my email address up on there as well. It's awritings at genesisshelter.org, but I believe we'll have a Q&A panel as well. So thank you guys for your time and best of luck as you plan your 2019 campaigns. Thank you.